Hello friends, this video on cell part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we are going to talk about lysosomes. So lysosomes are membrane bound vesicles which contain a variety of digestive enzymes. So in fact while we were discussing about the significance of Golgi apparatus, so they are also vesicles, they are also vessels which are surrounded by one membrane, single membrane bound and they contain, they help to store the digestive enzymes. So that is their most important job because these digestive enzymes are extremely important. A lot of digestive inappropriate activity might happen inside the cell because whenever we eat the food material is passed on, I mean it is digested and then it is passed on to various parts of the body. So what do we mean by various parts of the body? End of the day the food material actually goes to each and every cell of our body. So the cell has to handle that food material. So to take care of any appropriate in any appropriate digestive activity we have these lysosomes. So let us see where are they located. So the lysosomes are located here. So these are small vesicles. So here you can see this structure which you see here is the lysosome. So what are these digestive enzymes which we are talking about? What kind of digestive enzymes are present inside lysosomes? So these enzymes could be nucleases which digest nucleic acids like RNA or DNA. It could be proteases which digest the proteins. It could be lipases which digest lipids. It could be glycosides. So glycosides, they digest polysaccharides that is glucose. Glucose is a monosaccharide, so the uh, complex sugars, the polysaccharides or the disaccharides. So these kind of enzymes are contained inside the lysosome. Let us see where exactly is lysosome present in animal cell. So lysosomes are present quite near to the mitochondria. So this is the lysosome. In plant cells, the presence of lysosome is disputed. So some say that lysosomes are present in plant cells. Some say that they are not present in plant cells. Let us quickly look at the significance. So the lysosomes digest waste materials or worn out organelles. Now whatever waste materials are present inside the cell or the organelles which have been damaged. So it helps the cell to get rid of all these waste materials because it contains the digestive enzymes. So these enzymes can digest all unnecessary material and that means it can clean the cell. Defense against bacterial and viral infection because these bacteria or virus which can cause infection or which can damage the cell. So they can be destroyed by the action of these digestive enzymes. Waste disposal system of the cell. So as I have mentioned before also it helps in getting rid of the waste. During cell damage lysosomes burst and the enzymes digest their own cell. Now what happens here is, as I said, inside the lysosomes are present various digestive enzymes like proteases, lipases, nucleases, phosphatases, etc. Now without a constant input of energy, these enzymes, they start digesting the membrane of the lysosome from inside. So let us suppose if this is your lysosome and inside the lysosome you have these enzymes. Now when there is no input of energy. So there is no energy. So what will these enzymes do? They will start digesting these walls. I mean what I am trying to explain you is without a constant input of energy how the cell gets damaged and that is why cell needs energy. So when there is no input of energy these enzymes will start eating up or it will start digesting the membrane of the lysosome because the membranes are mostly made up of lipids or proteins and the enzymes which are present inside they are capable of digesting those components as well. So it will start digesting the membrane. Now when the membrane completely disintegrates, what happens? These enzymes which were till now present inside uh, the lysosome, these enzymes now are released out into the cell. Now when they are released in open in the cell, so these enzymes can very easily start eating up everything which, is, which makes up the cell. 
because the cell various cell organelles the cell membrane everything is made up of one of these components nucleic acids proteins lipids so these enzymes will start digesting all of them and finally the cell will be destroyed and that is why lysosomes are called suicidal bags of the cell because the enzymes present inside the cell can destroy that cell only so that is why they are suicidal that suicide means when somebody kills himself or herself that is called a suicide so here also the cell gets destroyed because of the enzymes which were present inside that cell only because lysosomes are part of the cell and these enzymes are present inside the lysosomes so lysosomes have advantages because it helps to uh, get rid of the waste material so it is like the waste disposal system for the cell but at the same time during uh, lack of energy due to lack of energy these lysosomes can become the suicidal bags for the cell so that is why they are termed as suicidal bags of cell thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.